I will try to explain all the positive and negative things about the penile enlargement surgery. So, we also need to talk about the complications. This is a really small possibility saying that we should talk about the thing that can be accepted as complication. For example, fat dissolution. Any operation that involves fat injection will conclude with a small amount of fat dissolution. Usually fat doesn't stay there permanently, so when we explain the thickening surgery, we have talked about fat dissolution, but we do not know how much fat will dissolve in which patient. In some patients this dissolution will be too much, but in some it will be quite less then and they may need an extra fat injection later so when does it happen we do the first fat injection in six months we cannot do it any sooner so we cannot be certain who will need it and how much they will need it some will need it in six months but some won't need it even after six years but i don't think that it is permanent they will need it for a while later we shouldn't think this is a complication the nature of the surgery creates this issue. We need to do another fat injection after a while. Is any deformity possible? This question is also frequently asked. Will the dissolution be homogeneous after the injection or will it be uneven? It's really difficult to know it beforehand. But I have had some cases that involves uneven dissolution. This usually happens with the blood penises. You pull the penis properly when uh, doing the infection. But if the penis retracts, the adipose tissue looks nutty and disfigured. And uh, we fix it with a second fat injection. So we cannot say there won't be any disfigurement. It is not common, but still happens. Nodules, sometimes the, the fat stays there like a cyst. It dissolves, but in some places it looks like a cyst. This is also uncommon, but uh, still happens. I have also fixed this issue. So what we do with these patients, this is happens after the solution. These patients will need a second fat injection. They come up to us and we remove those nutty cysts and we do the injection. It is an easy procedure and we do it in the second fat injection. There is also a rumor that has been going online. Fat injection moves towards the testicles. This is not true. It doesn't move towards the testicles, but during the injection a small bit of fat can go to the scrotum. It may happen, but the adipose tissue inside the penis will not move towards the testicles. Why not? Because it's not fillet, it looks like mashed potato. It is not like olive oil or something like that, so it cannot move towards the testicles. Patient usually opened the dressing and sent me a photo a week later saying that the glands has swollen too much. He means the circumcision stitch by that. The reason is also not the fat that has been injected. It is just the edema fluid that gathers at the bottom. Penis has a dangling tissue. So when the edema filters downward, it gathers around the glands. This swelling will go away after a couple of months. It will not stay like that. You should not mistake that with the fat. Edema fluid and the adipose tissue are different things. The swelling that happens around the glands starts to get better after a month or so because the edema dissolves. So those are two different things. Besides that, buried penis, it can relapse. We have to say this because it is a difficult thing to deal with. We need to follow an aggressive method and pull the penis out as much as possible. But it can happen again. Peripheral tissues can again retract the penis inside. 
So, we may need to operate once more. You should know, we cannot be sure that the buried penis problem will be solved with only one surgery. It probably will get better with the first surgery, but it doesn't. But if it doesn't, you unfortunately might need a second surgery, because this is a fact and we do an elongation procedure to the base of the penile skin. Why Y plasty or Z plasty? When we do it, we use a triangular tissues. As I have told you before, we interlock the zigzags. There might be some openings at the tip of these triangular stitches uh, because the circulation is not have it there. And if you see this happening, you should apply baticon. Uh, one or two times a day should be enough. You don't need to do anything more. Sometimes patients send me a photo saying that it has been 15 days, but there is a small bleeding over there. When I look at the photo, I see that there is a small opening at the tip of that triangular stitch. It's okay. You cannot fix it with baticon. I tell them not to do anything else. These are the basic complications. As I've told you before, I only saw one case of the infection, and it was because he opened up his dressing on the night of his surgery. He opened up the dressing without even waiting for 24 hours. Only this kind of things can cause an infection or else it's not possible. So, these are the probable complications. As you can see, none of them are serious, so these surgeries are extremely safe and they do not have any problems. Most, the most important thing is to follow the rules. Stitching of uh, or fat dissolution problems can be fixed easily. When compared to the other surgeries, these surgeries are like a walk in the park. They have no serious problems. Patient satisfaction rates are quite high. So this is the reason that these surgeries got popular over the years. As I've told you before, I'm not advertising anything. I still don't have a website on this topic. There are only a couple of articles in different places. My mission come to me only by recommendation. So if the former patient were not pleased with it, there wouldn't be so many patients and I would still be performing urinoplasty. I haven't been doing it for over five years. As I've said, this surgery should be performed in accordance with the uh, technique. We should inform the patient properly and we should keep their hopes in an acceptable standard. Uh, they exactly know who I am uh, referring to. We do it without cutting the suspensory ligament. We elongate it six centimeters uh, uh, anyway. If you lie about it, the patient will definitely not be satisfied with the result because you cannot do any of those. I won't say anything exciting about the next video because it is exciting in its nature. I will be talking about the interesting cases. I believe that everybody will be watching it as well. If you've got anything that stays in your mind as a question mark, you can reach out to me. Hope to see you soon.